Hey everyone! After talking about my favorite top 5 sprites yesterday, it's time to talk about my top 5 worst sprites. Um, and this list is only Neo Vision units, just like yesterday's list, so we are not looking at 7 star units or NVAs. Uh, that would pretty much just ruin the whole video uh, to a degree that it'd be probably mostly NVAs on this list. So yeah, let's get this started, shall we? So on spot number five, we've got Starlight Elena. Now she was one of the very first Neo Vision units we got. And from day one onwards, I wasn't really fond of her sprite. I don't know, something just really rubs me the wrong way with a base form sprite, less so the Brave Shift, but it's still kind of eh. Maybe it's the weapons that are kind of weird. They do seem as if the right, the, the weapon on her right hand side is smaller than the one on the left hand side, but maybe that's just the angle at which we're looking at her. Or is it that half her pants are shred? I don't know, it's, it just, I just don't like the sprite at all and the color palette, it's kind of weird. Um, it's, I don't know, something just doesn't work with it. And while the Brave Shift sprite looks a lot better, it's when you compare it, or it's far worse when compared to NVA Elena, especially the NVA Elena Brave Shifted sprite. That is like one of the best NVA sprites in the game, hands down. But anyway. Let's go to number four, and that is Mazurka. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like her look is just super plain, basic, very few colors. It's just, it, it's rather dull, boring, and so uneventful. It's as if she was depressed. I don't know, I haven't followed the story at all, but she really gives off that depressed vibe with the gray colors, with her, with her great white-ish um, dress and stockings she's wearing, the black effect work. It's just dark colors and it just really speaks to me. I am boring. And if you've noticed from my video yesterday, I do prefer colorful units with a lot of, with a huge color palette and all of that. She's ex the exact opposite of what I do prefer in unit sprites. So naturally, she's on this list. Number three is King of Destruction Zoma. Um, probably a little bit surprising, but just looking at the sprite, all of his colors look super washed out. It's, it, it does give off a very low polygon or pixel count look to him as he, as if he was somewhere from the Atari generation where things were single digit polygon or pixel counts and it's just it just doesn't look good uh, the effect work on him is kind of meh anyway i don't know um zoma while his stmr is great the sprite just doesn't look good i mean you still can recognize who this is supposed to be obviously but the sprite itself it just looks bad in my opinion and i, I feel like Ranking him at number three is fair from my point of view, obviously. All right, number two. Uh, it's, I mean, come on, who who did not expect her to be here? It's Albert girl Riku. And um, corporate wanted to find a difference with the seven star Riku. They're the same picture. It's just that, like, seriously, all Alum did was actually took, take the seven star pride, fix the posture, add the new effect to it, and call it a day. Like, this is really lazy work in that regard. It's nothing really changed other than the effect work and fixing her posture, which is something they probably took off from her winning animation. I believe the winning animation has that posture that the SLB unit is using. So it wasn't that much work that, uh, Go, uh, went into Albert Girl Riku from my point of view. Unless you want to tell me that doing the effect, doing some new effects takes weeks or months to do. Uh, I don't think doing the 
Let's call her Enhanced 7 Star. I'll bet girl Riku took very long. It's one of the worst units I've... I still feel like she's one of the worst units in the game. And the sprite is also pretty bad. It's just... I don't know, maybe it's just Final Fantasy X. Most Final Fantasy X units don't look that appealing to me. Neither does Tidus, neither does Yuna. The other thing that's cool about Yuna's sprite, the summoner Yuna, for example, is that the robe and all that, that looks half decent. But the art style in Final Fantasy X, it, it never really worked for me, to be quite honest. So maybe it's just my um, disdain for Final Fantasy X as a whole, in terms of uh, art style and art design. But I'll bet girl Riku, she, she's just not good at all. Whether it's her kit, her damage, or the sprite, I really just like everything about it. <laughs> Alright, and well, who is at the top? Who is the worst envy unit that you can think of? And it has to be Doma Samurai Scion. Like, I don't know what Alam was thinking when they did this unit. Well, <sighs> Truth be told, it's not even Alam, it's, I believe, the Scion was Final Fantasy VI, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was Final Fantasy VI, so... They had very little wiggle room to do him, but I feel like they did him badly. Truth be told, Scion really just looks like King Bradley, but the Alam big brain move was, we take the sprite of King Bradley, turn it sideways, and call it a day. Maybe give him a katana and call it a day. That's the big brain move. Like, this probably took them five minutes to do and he was okay. The fact work on Scion is also super, super lame. He just has super bland colors and I don't know. He He's one of those units that really feel like they are 2D. If it weren't for the fact that he sometimes turns around and looks at you like I don't know, like Weird Champ, if you're watching Twitch TV, he's give, really giving you the Weird Champ look as if he's asking, why are you even using me to begin with? Uh, if it weren't for that fact, um, you wouldn't probably notice that this is meant to be a 3D animated unit. It, it really looks like 2D, it's super boring, it's super lame, bland colors, and like I said, the first thing I, I told my friends when I saw Cyan or Cyan Sprite is this looks like King Bradley. It's literally a discounted King Bradley Sprite. And that's why I will probably never use him anyway, even though I have, have him at EX Plus 2, I believe. But he's just bad all around and the Sprite doesn't really help uh, in giving me that feeling of ever wanting to use him. And yeah, I guess this is it today. So, well, this top five list was a little bit shorter, but I know you guys don't really like when I extend my videos way too long. So thank you all for watching. Again, I'd love to read your opinions on this topic. Which units do you guys consider being the worst ones, especially in terms of the sprite and artwork and how they were translated into FFBE? And once again, I do wish you a happy new year. Let's all do our best. And um, I don't know when I'll do my next video. Maybe Tuesday, if it's actually Tyvus, I'll do a comparison or in-depth comparison between Tyvus, Sephiroth and Auron. That's something I'm gonna probably explore on Tuesday. Keep in mind, um, tomorrow is my birthday. On Tuesday, I do have an appointment, so I might be a little bit late with my videos um, for the next couple of few days, but rest assured, sometime on Tuesday I'll do another video. When it's if it's Tyvus that is, might be a little bit later than usual, maybe at uh, in the evening times uh, for me at least. So in the morning for U.S. folks, or maybe even Wednesday for those living in Asia. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.